Okay, I'm with Kevin Leitner, offensive line coach for Fujitsu Frontiers. How was the game today? It was good. I mean, we, uh, you know, as far as the old line perspective, the starters played two series, and then so it was the middle of the first quarter, took them out, so played all the all the backups, everybody that I had, and I think the young guys played well. Yeah, I mean, your run blocking today, obviously, quite a few Russian touchdowns. You think that was pretty much on point, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you know, we weren't playing. Colby wasn't playing, obviously, so, uh, you know, we played our, our second, our third quarterbacks. They just kind of, I think, mixed it up every two series. So figured we'd run the ball a little more today, but still give those guys work. And, uh, you know, so we don't want to be just totally one-dimensional. So I think, you know, we mixed it up pretty good, but we were heavy run today with all the young guys in there. Yeah, speaking of those young guys, obviously you got a couple of rookies in, some big men, you know, but obviously they're young and inexperienced. How have they been coming on over the season so yeah, far? I've got uh, three rookies that uh, we signed, and, uh, you know, I love all three of them. They're really good. You know, we got uh, two big tackles, and then uh, our backup center, Usle, is uh, doing a great job. So I'm trying to play them whenever I can and because uh, they, they do a great job. And they're, they're guys that will be pushing for starting here before too long. You know, we've, we've got a couple guys that are getting older. You know, in that group, so I, I really like what we what we signed as rookies. Obviously, I mean it's a competitive game and it's a regular season game, but with the difference in level, is this really an opportunity to do things like that to blood newer players? And is, is that the most valuable part of a game like today for a team like Fujitsu? Yeah, I, I wanted to play the starters a couple of series just because, you know, they we only play every couple of weeks, you know, in some games, and it's you know you you still want to keep them sharp. You know, it's hard to just practice and don't play. So wanted to give them a little work. But again, you know, with the competition level being what it was, I wanted to play those young guys. And, and uh, you know, they, they deserve to play. They practice every day. And they're, and they're a really talented group. My my second group is, is pretty good. So I feel good if I can get them in there and get as many reps as they did today. That was great. Let's say even with the first group, you've been here now a couple of years. Mm -hmm. What do you think has been the biggest difference, we'll say, from day one when you first arrived here and what they are now? Well, I mean, the, the players are really, really smart. And, uh, you know, they're, they really pick up technique quick. And uh, so, you know, they're, you know, I expected that. You know, they're quick learners. But I think the physical part of the game is probably the thing that you don't have over here, just the, the whole finishing thing. I mean, we keep track of everything, pancake blocks and cut blocks. And I think... First year they bought into it, you know, you just need a couple guys that are that way and, and now we're, we're getting more and more aggressive, you know, as our technique gets better. But just the, the physical, trying to finish your opponent every play, you know, is something that we're still not where we need to be, you know, we, we're, but we're, you know, we're, we're getting there. And, and I like what I see and I think guys are having fun. You know, the physical part of the game is what, you know, that's the reason we play. So, you know, especially old linemen, if you don't like the physical part, then there's, <laughs> there's no reason to play the game. So, but I think the guys are really buying into that and I like where they're at. And so hopefully we'll just keep getting better. That's actually always been right part of your history because you ever see interviews with you or anything down through the years at Vanderbilt or Ohio or anywhere else, you've always talked about the weight room. The weight room is yeah. the most important thing and the physicality and the si getting as big as you can be with being as lean as you can be. Yeah. So. Coming from those big college programs in the States to Japanese football, is the physicality the biggest difference, you think, with the offensive well, line? Yeah, the guys aren't as big, but, you know, but there's no reason that they can't be strong, you know, but these guys got it hard. I mean, you know, the guys for Bitsu, they got to work, you know, they got to work, you know, they work seven days a week because we, we practice three days and they got to work in the office the rest of the time. So it's, it's hard, but they can still get in the weight room. And, and so I think they're understanding that the stronger you are, the more physical you can be. And, you know, the big part of U.S. and, you know, in the U.S. colleges that, you know, that weight program is huge. So, but, I mean, I, you know, I, I came from the Nebraska program, so the physical part of the game has just been, been instilled in me for, forever. So trying to pass that on to these guys, again, they're really buying into it. And uh, the more success they've had, you know, the more excited they, they get about it. Yeah, that physical part, obviously, it's a huge part of offensive line play. But players in the States at all positions have been playing the game since they were, you know, yeah. basically out of, diapers but here it's not like that yeah. do you find that there's a big technique deficit as well uh, yeah you know when I first got here I think there was you know and I see it a lot when I watch film of the other teams you know there's a lot of poor technique out there especially in the old line play uh, now again the guys once you show them something and you really work at it I mean you know our practices are run where we do a lot of footwork and tech they, they pick it up very fast and uh, so and, and they're athletic. I got an athletic group. I mean, if you're if you're not very athletic, it's it's hard to do some of the things that we ask them to do. So, again, I think the intelligence part has been the thing that surprised me the most. They they can do what you you want to do, but the, the physical part of it and just having that desire to put a guy into the ground and not you know sometimes it's, I think they almost look at it as like it's disrespectful. 
But you know that's you know it's disrespectful to put your guy on the ground. But it, but it's not. It's football. You know it's it's football. That's what you're supposed to do. So I think we're getting past that. You know, and and even with some of the officiating, I mean we get called for holding their pancake blocks. You know, they, the officials are not used to seeing someone get driven into the ground. They just they think. You know, I'm not sure that you know. Again, so the officiating's got to catch up with the with the game, but but I think it's getting there. It's getting there. We'll see. Has that been a challenge for you personally? Obviously, you have a very vocal style, a very involved style. Yeah. I hear you John at the refs on the sideline all yeah. the time. Has it been something you had to adapt or tone down since you came to Japan? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure they understand what I'm saying, so I probably get away with more than I probably I should to the officials because they don't. I'm sure they they don't understand me, but but uh, you know, I just you know, again, I just. You know, want the game called right. I'm, you know, I'm an intense guy. I try to coach that way. You know, I always have. So, uh, my guys are used to it now, and so they, they want to be coached that way. So they love it. So, I'm not going to change. You know, again, obviously, don't want to be disrespectful to the officials, but just, you know, just want it called correctly. <laughs> well, you've got probably your biggest challenge of the season in the regular yeah. season anyway. Next week, yeah. our next game, Panasonic Impulse. Any thoughts on them? Yeah, they got a great team. You know, I've been watching, you know, we for some reason, every time we play them, you know, they always give us a week and uh, Pan always has two weeks. So I think the uh, league seems to like Pana, but that's, you know, and we got to go down there. But I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I, I uh, you know, I like what I've seen on tape of them. They're, they're a good team. They got a lot of depth, you know, similar to what we got. and. Uh, Good, good, talented players, both sides of the ball. So it'll be, it's going to be another good game. They have got a lot of good players, and obviously using the uh, thing where they can American players coming through the Japanese system. Yeah. They've got basically three Americans on the defensive line. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for your guys in particular yeah. during the game. Uh, anything special you're going to do? Uh, I mean, we, we didn't. Uh, I mean, it, we'll be okay with those guys. I mean, I, I like where our guys stand. I mean, we there's obviously a few American D linemen in the league. There's a few in there that are that are really hard matchups. I just think. I don't think there's a big. I think Panna's got a lot of good linemen, D linemen. I don't know if they have anybody in my mind that's scary over there, but I think they're all. I think they're all good players. I mean, I think from what I've seen, they rotate a lot of guys, and I think they're all solid. So, and I think that's better than just having maybe just one killer guy and then a bunch of bad guys, you know, because you can match up some guys. But I think these guys do a great job with their scheme. They're well coached. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll be it'll be a classic classic game. I think it'll be a good game. Those are the games you want. You know, I don't these games today. You know what I mean? They're not they're not as fun. You know, you like to see your young guys out there playing. But next week and you know the old big games, the IBM games, those are the reasons you coach and those are the reasons you play. So those are the ones you want to play in. Well speaking of Obik and IBM and you know Panasonic, they all seem to have brought in a lot of new players. Fujitsu, yeah, a couple of new guys that come the offensive line, but for the most part you've kept the same core. Obviously you won the championship last year. Yeah. You feel good about repeating this year? Yeah, uh, we you know, we we have to you know replace a guy, we gotta we gotta get rid of a guy. So we didn't bring any new Americans. Uh, you know, the ones we got, uh, you know, are still still solid for us, you know, and then you know, we brought in where we had retirements. Now we're we're thin at some spots, you know, because we had some more injuries today on the D line. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think we, you know, we actually had some really two or three rookies on defense that were really good, and they got hurt in the spring, so they're not back yet. You know, some linebacker type guys that I think are really talented, and they all got hurt in the spring, so they're all out right now. So hopefully, maybe at some point we'll get those guys back. So nobody's really seen those guys yet, but I, but I feel, you know, we felt pretty good about those guys, especially special team wise, you know, there's places that they can help. So, but uh, yeah, we won't, you know, for us to assign anybody new American right now, we obviously we got to get rid of the ones we got. We think the ones we got are contributing right now and still got, still got a couple of good years left in them, we hope, <laughs> especially Gino and Colby. <laughs> Yeah, they're getting up there a little bit, but uh, they do a great job, and they, you know, the thing that they do is a great job coaching the other players. You know, that's what, that's what we're excited about. So. Okay, great stuff. All Thank right. you very much, All sir. Right. Good luck next time, Ash.